that the dead don't die. They look on and help. Remember that, John. Agatha. Sean. He's on the beach now. Toe in the water. He's asking you to come in with him. He's been racing his mother up and down the sand. in this house. He's ten years old. He's surrounded by animals. He wants to be a vet. You keep a rabbit for him, a bird, and a fox. He's in high school. He likes to run, like his father. He runs the two mile and the long relay. He's 23. He's at a university. He makes love to a pretty girl named Claire. He asks her to be his wife. He calls here and tells Laura who cries. He still runs across the university and in the stadium where John watches. Oh God, he's running so fast. wants to run to him, but he's only six years old, and he can't do it, and the other man is so fast. <gasps> there was so much love in this house. I want him back so bad. <laughs> so did she. Can't you see? She just wanted her little girl back. But it was too late. Her little girl was already gone. She's still alive. She didn't die. But she's not alive. Agatha. Just tell me. Who killed your mother? Who killed Aunt Lively? I'm sorry, John. But you're gonna have to run again. What? John Anderton, by mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division, I'm placing you under arrest for the murders of Leo Crow and Danny Whitworth. That's it. This is all my fault. There was nothing anyone could do. Uh, I thought you might want to have those. <laughs> I haven't worn this in years. Just wanted to make sure it fits before tonight. You look great. I knew he was having trouble for some time, and yet I did nothing about it. Excuse me. The guy from USA Today is here. Tell him not now. He just wanted a few minutes before... Not he... now! I thought you were retiring. Well, I was. But this incident with John made me realize the fragility of all this. <clears throat> this is John's legacy as much as it is my own. <clears throat> now I have an obligation to protect that. Lara, I know how difficult this is for you, but maybe you can find some closure in the fact that John finally found the man who killed your son. Who's Anne Lively? Who? Anne Lively. 
But John was talking about her right before they took him. I don't know who that is. John said something about him being set up because he found out about her. Well, we know why John was tagged. He also said Crow was a fake. And Whitfer? He was killed with John's gun inside John's Mark, apartment. Do you know the reason why John came here to work for you? Sean. Yes. He came here to work for you because he thought if he could just stop that kind of thing from happening. I understand. No, I don't think you do. Sir, they want to start the press conference in two minutes. Lara, John was the best cop I ever knew, and in some ways also the best man. But the scars he carried around, well, I know he'd want us to honor the good things we remember about him. Uh, and I also know why he married you. You're as stubborn as he is. Lamar. Uh, no. uh, do you know how to tie one of these? Could you please give me a hand? <laughs> I'm all thumbs, you see. <clears throat> Listen, I'll tell you what I'll do. First thing Monday, I'll look over the Whitworth evidence. Hmm? And uh, I'll, I'll have Gideon round the containment files. See if anyone drowned a woman by the name of... of, of uh, what did, you, what did you say her name was? Ann Lively. But I never said she drowned. I'll be right there. We'll talk about this later. Perhaps tomorrow I'll come by the cottage. I'd like a word with my husband. You are not authorized. How did you get in here? Abram, Jad. Jad, it's Laura. John needs a favor. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm